voters do not approve the referendum, then all local governments must match their LMIG funds at a rate of 30%. And then we have to wait 24 months to start the process over again. To enact, and when I say start the process over again, I'm saying start the process over to enact this tax. And that's what I'm referring to there. Is that commonly called a stick? <laughs> it looks like a baseball bat. If the voters do approve the referendum, all local governments must match their LVIG funds at a rate of 10%, and then they can use the 25% money that is generated by the tax to use as that 10% match. So this is no real choice. This is a mandate, pretty much. This is the law. This is the law that we have this to This is a mandate. This is the law. Yeah. You got the people we just voted to the legislature. They got elected to come and ask for them too. Good. We're going to remember that. Thank you. Our next steps are that the round table is going to take the comments that we received from the public today at our meeting last week in Waycross and our meeting later on tonight in Fitzgerald and others, any others that we receive um, between now and then. They will look at this final list on October 10th and then adopt the final list by October 15th. Um, this uh, list and the referendum will then go to the voters um, on July of 2012. Um, and one thing to clarify, the local governments don't get a say if this goes on their ballot. The round tables, when they vote yes or no, that is whether it goes on the ballot in the region. And then uh, GDOT is responsible for project delivery. As I said before, there are stipulations in current state law that allow for GDOT to work with local governments on certain projects. I didn't understand what you just said about the local people. The regional, no, in a lot of cases when you have a referendum, you have to, that local government has to approve it. In this case, it is the round table that approves it. So when they adopt that list on October 10th, or by October 15th, that that is the, the authority to put that on the ballots in every local government in our region. Okay. And that was, a, that was a question I got before, um, so, so I was trying to clarify it there, but I didn't clarify it quite enough. 